Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to Full Tilt. It's Monday. We're far from home, working up in Connecticut, almost Massachusetts, called Putan, Connecticut. Middle of nowhere. This time, we brought up the old E26 rather than renting something. So we'll see how this goes. It's a little test. Um, again, kind of works out better for me. Except for the fact that I have to avoid a bunch of roads to get up here because of low bridges. Um, but as far as versatility, I'd rather have my machine. I have more buckets set up to do the work better. I have a thumb, the whole nine yards. I like it better. Definitely will probably get more done at a quicker rate. Now, this site here, we're already inside. I'm not going to take you guys in. But I went over it with Tim. And Tim wants me to stub up my pipes here. And we're going to hang the ATS somewhere in this area here. And these guys will punch in through the shelter up top there like those two two inches are. And we're going to drop down and we'll turn 90. I'll have to bail all this stone out. Take it over there and pile it up. I already moved out some of these leaves. There was a ton of them in here. And I put them over the fence in a the pile there. Now, that's where our generator is going to be. Our window is going to be here. The exhaust stacks will go there. So we'll sub up our pipes here. Um, I'm not going to use any 90s there or anything. I'm just going to do a diagonal run so it has the easier wire pull. Now, our layout is three feet off the AC units, five feet off that uh, concrete pad there. So our generator is going to be four by 10 as always. I got my stone pretty much separated. That's stone, that's just dirty stuff. Uh, there's bigger rocks, so I was right underneath the fabric. Um, now, one thing I'll say is we're gonna have issues already. We got solid rock right to the surface all the way across. Now, we'll see if we can dig it out. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna put the one foot bucket on. Not even gonna get the ripper out. Kind of see how this all feels. But I'll tell you now, man, so far, I think we're gonna have lots of rock. Now that stuff there, it looks like I'll be able to rip through it. That one there, I don't know. Looks pretty big. Well, let's put this one footer on and find out. Well guys, this rock is really big. I didn't get it on film. Let me move my swing room out of the way here. I didn't get it on film there, but I already dug out the other side. And man, it's a big one. So, we're gonna dig out this side and FaceTime Tim and see what he would like us to do. Tim, you're good, bud. You're on camera, just let you know. But yo, I know you think I know you think I'm trying to get out of work, but we hit more rock, bud. This it's a big one. Look at that, dude. It's a trying to get out. You're trying to get out of work. And I, I don't know. It seems like every every the last three sites were rock. But no, um. But you gotta get back to the drawing boards, bud. Cause I, I'm not digging that out. And then I'm uh, gonna move my machine around. But I'm waiting right in the middle of our pad, dude. We, we're gonna have the same issue. Solid rock. You know? Oh, good. All right, well, for now, let me know, bud. All right? What do you wanna do? Do you wanna get a pecker head for your machine? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let, is Tommy around? Yeah, he's here. All right, well, ask if he wants me to buy one or rent one. Okay. Hey, Bye. YouTube, welcome back. Uh, last night, we finally found a hammer, but we had to get an air compressor hand hammer because basically, keep in mind that even though I have a Bobcat machine, I have to use all Caterpillar buckets because the pin grabber. And up here, Cat won't rent me or sell me a hammer because I'm out of my market and everything up here is really busy. So I get it. it is what it is. So we're going to make do with what we can. We got a new concrete blade or a rock blade to turf cut some of this rock. We also got an air compressor and a 90 pound hammer with some bits. Now between the mini, 
the jackhammer and the saw. It's gonna take a while, but we'll probably be able to get this. Now, <clears throat> we were supposed to go to another job. As of right now, um, we're only focused on this job. The other one isn't a concern. We canceled our inspections already for this one. So let's hook this hammer up and see if we can get something done. This rock is really hard. So I tried hammering without cutting the rock and it got nowhere at all. Um, it cracks it a little bit, but don't need to do much. Now if I cut it, cut a bunch of lines in it like we talked yesterday, and I got that blade for, um, it does break. So that's what we planning on doing. I just talked to Tim and kind of sent him a video of what was going on. He saw him and he agreed it's not going very well, so it's going to take us all day. If we try to go two foot, eight inches deep on that rock hammer and all the way down, it'll take forever. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hammer out this as much as I can, try, try to get it flat. Um, and then we're going to encase this uh, conduit in concrete. And I'll get on my machine and start digging that way. Um, and we'll see what we can get. As far as depth, we'll get as deep as we possibly can. And then we're going to do a full concrete encasement. That is what it is. Um, sometimes this is just the way it goes. I to get on a mini excavator and start exposing this side of the rock, see what we're going to get ourselves into. Now, this rock for sure is going to hammer out better because it has layers to it. I have an edge you better get into. I'm probably going to hook the ripper on some of this stuff before I even hammer any of it because I'm pretty sure the ripper is going to get a lot of that out. Now, between the building here, it was a kind of a mix and backfill. I guess these guys brought sand in here. Um, cause I'm assuming they probably had to blast for this site or hammer all this out. So they brought in material. The digging wasn't terrible. Um, just a little tight. I threw all the big rocks that I took out over there. There's a big pile of them. And there's some more over there that I couldn't throw over the side. I'll throw them all over there, over the front of my blade. It'll be easier. Now I did hit a rock here. We're going to go right over top of. And basically the con the conduits are going to be encased in concrete from here to the pad and then from here on I got my depth so I'm not going to encase these conduits now what we're going to do is get back to hammering out this rock we're going to cut some more of it and basically we're going to heat this pipe up and go over top of some of this rock once I get the depth that I can and then same thing we'll concrete encase the pipe here and hope for the best
Alright, so ripping the rock is going pretty well. I got a lot of that stuff under mine. Um, I can at least move that big rock around. So now what I'm going to do is switch out to the grading bucket. Um, originally I didn't clear out enough stone and all that for all this. So what I'm going to do is just fold some of that stone back, make some more room. That way I can bail some of this dirt out of here to get some more weight off of this rock. See if I could flip it out. Now, all the small rock, we're going to have to haul out of here. The big rock, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I got to figure that out. Might just be a little lawn ornament there in the corner because I'm never going to haul that out of here. It's too big. It is what it is. ripped out 100 percent we got a big hole here at the deepest point it's nine and a half feet off the edge there with level level and across and we have a bunch of big rocks we're going to be hauling away we got one big big rock that somehow some way the 26 got out by uh, rolling it digging it you know i made a ramp here just to kind of get it out of the ground and it worked i'm going to pile stuff back in that corner and we'll leave it there forever this rock and this pile of rock here, we're going to haul away. Now, here is some good dirt. There's some good dirt. What I'm going to do is get rid of the rock that's in there, left over. Um, and then I'm going to get the dirt that's here, throw some of it in, use the jumping jack to compact it. Um, and basically compact it up. And I'm hoping that the material that I have here will at least bring me to the, exit, the trench there's that I have Doug's grade, sorry there, um, the grade of the trench there. Basically, I'm gonna bring it up to it, and then tomorrow, or later on today, we're gonna go to a landscape supply place and pick up some stone. And basically, what we'll do is, <clears throat> I'm gonna back the trailer up here, and I'll have to dip the stone out of the trailer carefully, and then we'll have to put it in there, put it in lifts, and compact it up and hopefully tomorrow evening we should be ready by uh for inspection and concrete first thing thursday morning but we'll see
guys we're back on site yesterday we stayed late we got all the rocks over to the other side of the ice bridge and we got them all hauled away now this morning what we're going to do is i'm going to get rid of that jumping jack get the ripper out of there move some of those rocks out of the way that are big there and then we're going to relay out for our generator see where our windows got to come up again because i'm not too sure exactly where that's at and then we're going to put our pipes in and I'm gonna go get another load of stone. Um, I already picked up one load, which is over there in the dump trailer. Now, I'm gonna dump it here at some point and I'll have to shuttle the stone in with the machine. But what I'm planning on doing is most likely using that dirty stone there um, and then just using fresh 2B stone for a topper. That's kind of what my plan is.
I got the load of stone over here. Um, now we're gonna head to another site, believe it or not, because I can't get inspection here till Friday. And besides bringing our form over here and dropping the steel in place, we were ready for inspection. Um, I can't put the pad, the forms up permanently because I'm gonna have to drop them again in order to get back here to backfill. So we're gonna leave it like this for now. Again, Friday morning we'll come here and we'll quick throw the forms up, no big deal. Um, I already have all the forms built and laid out, just gotta carry them over here. Now, we are headed about an hour and 40 minutes south of here. So we'll see you guys in about two hours. See ya.